Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Minecraft Let's Play. Uh, Minecraft Survival. I don't know what I'm calling it. Anyway, first things first. We finally got a name for our little friend here. Thomas Denson. Got the name from the one and only. Uh, he named it after Thomas Edison. I believe a, an inventor of some sorts. I don't know really what. Okay, our goals today are to enchant, brew, and stack up Thomas over here. I already did a few stuff. I got the enchantment table. Went to another get quartz to make a sugar cane farm because I don't want weak enchants. At least I don't want it on diamond armor. I don't want it on my diamond gear at least. So I'm I'm, I'm wearing chainmail. I'm enchanting and all that. I'm chainmail. I feel like this is gonna be my most prized possession. So I'm not gonna let any of it break. Hopefully, but I I don't have any I don't have any lapis. I'm stupid. Before I go get Lapis, let's build up this sugar cane farm. Now, I've never built a sugar cane farm, but I it seems pretty easy. After I realized that a minecart unloader needs pallet rails and pallet rails need gold, I went to the nether with absolutely no luck. It was no easy gold to get without dying. But I did get followed by a horse who wanted to become a hell horse, which I found really interesting. But anyway, without any luck in the nether, I went caving and lent this sick water clutch. Got some gold and lapis. While I was mining, I found a mine shaft, a pretty decently sized one too. No really good loot though. Uh, I did get jump scared by this zombie villager. I got so scared I started beating him up with a bone. Instead of my sword, it was so stupid. I took a minute to recollect myself, then started mining again. Then I got jump scared by a creeper and literally did a double take on it. Of course, I killed it quite easily. No problem, honestly. Then I tried to get that diamond you see on the ground as a reward, but then got ambushed by a witch. I was so confused I didn't know what it was. <laughs> After I killed her, I went back to the to surface to finish the sugar cane farm. Alright, so I finished it. Everything's working fine. Let me just test it. Throw some stick into the water. There we go. And it should stop. Unload everything. And keep going awesome awesome now we just gotta do you know the easy part i did look up to how to how to have it stop i had to do a bunch of stuff here like put a um comparity into the hopper uh put a block behind the comparity put a redstone torch yeah this is gonna stop it Put a redstone torch right there, put a repeater there, so then it stops and goes. I don't really understand it, but hopefully you guys do. <laughs> I explained that terribly, but it's fine. Then I need to place these. Now I need the observers. The minecart counts as a friendly creature, which I did not know. So that's interesting. I had to turn it down. It was, it was really loud. It was bothering my ears. Oh, it causes all of them to do it. I didn't know that, but it's cool. We can enchant these guys for low levels, just because I want them to shine. Got level 30 in there, so we should get some pretty good ones, right? Uh, let's just, let's just get protection. Hey, got feather following. One, but hey, cool. Look at us, enchanted chainmail. We're now all powerful. 
After I woke up, I went straight to the nether to find another fortress to get a brewing stand. And I got swallowed by another animal, a cow this time. I don't know why they're so interested in going to hell. But like I said, I went to find another fortress and dug this hole. Probably, I don't know, 100 blocks maybe. I found this big area, gave these piglins some gold nuggets, and went up this little hill here and found another fortress. Literally staring directly at me. So I went to kill a blaze rod to get what I wanted. A blaze. A blaze rod. No, I went to kill a blaze to get a blaze rod. Got those mixed up somehow. I killed them and went to the nether fortress to see what was going on, you know? And immediately got scared because this guy knocked him off and went back home to make a broom set. So that's exactly what I did. I went back home to make a brewing stand and tried to brew a potion and completely forgot that you needed nether warts to make awkward potions to actually make potions so i went, had to go back to the nether fortress but then i had a eureka moment and thought can no other blocks be turned to nether warts turns out they cannot which sucks you can literally see the frustration on the screen but i did get pretty lucky with the nether fortress i found <laughs> Blaze spawners in my desired nether worst, but it was being guarded by two skeletons. I would the skeleton and a normal skeleton, which I did not know spawned inside of nether fortresses. And to my surprise, he had a punch bow. I killed him, but it took it took a while. Then I killed his friend, which also took a minute because he, he walks pretty slow. But I collected my spoils and saw a chest and went to go collect that. Nothing really good, just some gold and horse on and saddles. Then I went back home and saw a really cute little guy riding a piggy. Look at him. I trapped him up because another rare mob, of course. Then I went to check my sugarcane farm. It's not the fastest, as you can see. But then I went to go say hey Thomas and saw a weird, saw the sun really weird. It was really dark. It was daytime. I don't know what's going on here. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, then I uh, upgraded my enchantment table. Not too many to bookshelves. Told you my sugarcane farm is not the best. But then I enchanted my diamond armor and gave it to Thomas because we did it he's stacked up now even gave him my diamond sword and that little guy uh while well, in that little guy i mentioned earlier yeah he surprised me somehow he got on a sheep and literally chased me up a tree Yeah, I have no clue how he got out or how he got on the sheep. But yeah, I trapped him up again. Thankfully, he's stupid. And it still, he still got out somehow. I don't know how. But somehow he got into the cow pit. How are you doing this? But yeah, what, whatever. It's fine. But with that said... I did all of the challenges. I know this video is really short. I'm sorry. I thought this was going to take a lot longer, but it didn't. It's like really, really short. Oh my. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I know I did. It was really fun making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I just said, I enjoyed it so much. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, tell me if you guys like the short videos or the longer videos. And see you guys in the next one.